Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is Pastor T, Pastor Tony McGee, and I want to thank you for joining me for Pastor T's Daily Devotional. This month is Black History Month, so for the month of February, I'm going to share insights from the Tell the Story, 40 Devotions with Reflections on Black History from our Daily Bread Ministries. Today's reflection is this little light of mine, this little light of mine. In Matthew chapter five, beginning with verse 14, Jesus is speaking to his disciples and he tells them, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This is a historic gospel song that was written in the 1920s. And although it was thought to be for children, this song transformed into an iconic freedom song. Black activists, those fighting for freedom and equality, including Fannie Lou Hamer, taught this song to U.S. civil rights demonstrators in the 1960s. This song, full of joy and hope, with defiant lyrics, this song sparked courage and bravery in the people. In the face of the hostility and violence that civil rights demonstrators had to suffer, they still fought and shouted this song in confidence, showing their confidence in God. They fought and had confidence in God's divine presence, in God's protection, and in God's power over injustice. Their faith kept them, and their confidence in God, it strengthened them, giving them hope. I remember singing this song as a child at Second Missionary Baptist Church in Terre Haute, Indiana. We would sing this song, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. We sang this song with confidence, and we shouted, everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. My God gave it to me. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This song, this little light of mine, it, it, it was a seed. It was a seed that helped me to affirm my identity in Christ as Christ being my light. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, when Jesus says to his disciples, let your light shine before others, he was giving them a divine calling and telling them that they are special and need to let their light shine. Once we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we are called to bring others out of darkness and into the marvelous light of Jesus Christ. When life is challenging, we have to let our light shine. When things are difficult, we have to let our light shine. When we face opposition, when we face persecution, when we're dealing with chaos, conflict, and confusion, we have to let our light shine in the face of the world. When we let our light shine, that ray of hope, that ray of joy, that ray of love, and that ray of compassion, it may be exactly what someone else needs to see while they're dealing with their trials, tribulations, and troubles of living in darkness. No matter what it is that comes our way, we have to be unshakable in our faith. We are designed to shine. We are designed to let others to see the light. Even when the world tries to diminish our light, we have to remember this. The world doesn't have the power to hide what God has lit. So today I want you to understand how wonderful and special you are. You are a light that is designed to shine. And oftentimes you're in darkness because God needs his brightest lights to shine in the darkest places. So I don't want you to be upset. I don't want you to be discouraged. And I don't want you to fret because you might be dealing with some dark times. Just simply let the light that Jesus gave you continue to shine. Lord, I'm praying now in the name of Jesus that you'll help me to keep your joy and to radiate your spirit. 
even as I face the challenges that are present in my life, I will give you all the praise. And I'm asking you to help me to allow your light to shine so others can see how wonderful you are. It's in Jesus' name we pray and give thanks. Amen. Thank you for joining me for Pastor T's Daily Devotion. I pray that you were encouraged and that you will remember to let your light shine. Please tune in each weekday from Monday through Friday as we continue our daily diet of devotion. Every Wednesday at noon, every Wednesday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m., we are starting our brand new Bible study series at Zion Hope Church, Praying with Power. We have a study on the Lord's Prayer. We have a study on the model prayer in Matthew chapter 6. If you want your prayers to be powerful, we're going to learn principles to practice so that our prayers can be powerful and effective. So please join us every Wednesday at noon and at 7 p.m. for our Bible study series at Zion Hope Church, 5950 East 46th Street, Indianapolis, Indiana. If you want to worship with us, please join us every Sunday at 9.30 a.m. We have Sunday school at the Hope Cafe so we can learn and grow in the Word of God. And at 11 a.m., we have in-person worship services as well as children's church and teen church. So please join us as the whole family can worship God together. If you can't attend in person, you can always join us online on the Zion Hope Church YouTube channel and on Facebook Live. May God bless you, may God keep you, and may heaven smile upon you. Love you much, Pastor T.